Democrat looking to unseat Senator Collins wins key endorsement. Portland, Maine, AP, a national organization devoted to electing LGBTQ candidates to public office is endorsing for the U.S. Senate in Maine former Google executive Ross Lajeunesse, a Democrat who wants an opportunity to unseat GOP Senator Susan Collins. The Victory Fund announced Thursday its endorsement of Lajeunesse who said it will add to the momentum and energy of his campaign in the face of Democratic establishment support for Maine House Speaker Sarah Gideon. Victory Fund is changing the face of public service in the United States by empowering more elected officials to serve openly and honestly. Mainers believe in those values, and I'll be a fighter for equality and justice in the U.S. Senate, Largeness said in a written statement. The Biddeford native served as head of international relations for Google, working in Asia and served in several posts in California government, capped by a stint as deputy chief of staff to then-GOP Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Before that, he worked in Washington for then-Senators George Mitchell of Maine and Edward Kennedy of Massachusetts. Large Ness and his husband moved from California to Maine in April. The Victory Fund noted that Large Ness has championed human rights issues in his career, including working on an early draft of the Employment Non-Discrimination Act in the Senate and executing Google's decision to stop censoring search results in China. Largeness said the endorsement provides a boost. It definitely helps. But the way you win races is by doing the hard work that I'm doing. I'm traveling up and down the state, talking about my story, he told the Associated Press in an interview. The Victory Fund chose Largeness over two other LGBTQ candidates, activist Betsy Sweet, who is bisexual, and attorney Bree Kidman who identifies as non-binary, meaning not strictly male or female. The Victory Fund said it gave the nod to Largeness based on his resume, experience and fundraising. He serves on the board of the LGBTQ Victory Institute, which works to build and support a pipeline of LGBTQ public leaders in the U.S. and around the world. Victory Institute is a sister organization to Victory Fund. We need more LGBTQ candidates. America needs us, too. We have a set of experiences that are important to making this country live up to its potential. The more queer people running for office, the better, Largeness said. Also in the race is Gideon, the Speaker of the Main House, who received early backing from the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee. Largeness downplayed any sense of inevitability with Gideon's candidacy, saying he is doing the hard work to meet with people and earn votes. He also said he has skin in the game providing part of the $600,000 that is being used to launch his campaign. We're in for more on this story, visit the news article link.